Hi guys, it's been such a long time since I've filmed in this setup and it feels really, really weird because I actually have a Christmas tree. This is of course my first Christmas tree and over the past week I have been going crazy on Instagram and everything because I'm so proud of this tree. The first time I actually had full responsibility of getting one and decorating it. So if you've watched my previous vlog, you would have seen the process. I really enjoyed it, although it made me really, really tired and boy was I having to use my brain, like to try and decide where to put what. It's not that easy, you know? So salute to you guys who do trees every year. I might have to ask someone to help me next year. So let's move on to today's video. What is going on? I'm in a Christmas jumper, which has lights on it. I'm in front of a Christmas tree. Today I'm talking about about Christmas and this chat is inspired by an article that I just finished writing and the article that I wrote is all about Christmas and how people can survive and get through the festivities. I know it's quite a shock but there are some people that actually struggle to get through Christmas and they don't enjoy it as much as others may. Um, probably for various reasons but I mean I can only go by what I've experienced and from my experience of Christmas I've always had a pretty hectic time. My parents are not together so I've always had to split my Christmases in half right down the middle when I was really really young I would have the first half of the day the day with my dad and my nana and my brother and my cousin and then the second half of the day would be spent with my mummy my gran my cousin my auntie and that was my life I literally spent half and half with two different sides of my family <laughs> and I know for many people that is so strange you know you sort of wake up you're in your pajamas all day you're staying in your house with your mum your dad and your siblings and then some other family members may come round but I never had a Christmas like that ever if you guys are Caribbean you understand how we do Christmas <laughs> so imagine getting two I cannot wait and I don't have to wait for long because it's in a week but anyway <laughs> during my research I realized how many people really did get bogged down during this time of year and I always viewed it as sort of a festive time for family, for friends, just to share your love and to sort of be grateful for the people that are around you, to just chill out, zone out, relax. I mean, it's the end of the year. We all have hectic years and it's cold outside and in some instances it's snowing. So I just always viewed it as sort of like a family time, coming together and eating, basically. But for many people, it's really stressful. And I think I never found it stressful because I've never hosted a Christmas before and if you guys have ever hosted a Christmas I salute you because now that I think about it when I was growing up how did everything come out so perfect how did the timing go so amazingly how did my parents or my grandparents keep opposing family members separate from each other like that is an art and I'm hoping I'm really hoping that when I do host my own Christmases when I have a family and so on in the future, I just pick up on these little skills. So if you are thinking about hosting Christmas this year, you might wanna get a pen and paper just to put these key points down and remember it. And if you're not, maybe this will help you appreciate those that are hosting your Christmas, or it will prepare you for when your time comes because your time is going to come. It's about reindeers and Father Christmas. It's not about that. As a Christian, I believe that Christmas is about a new beginning, a new life. Jesus was born, people coming together. It was about unexpected beginnings. It was about love. It was about gifts, yes, but not spoiling children rotten. I will spoil my children, but I don't want them to be brats. It's really, really difficult to get that balance but I'm nowhere near that so anyway the first thing that I'm gonna say to do to anyone is to plan plan ahead not just because you're hosting you could be anybody that is enjoying Christmas but just plan I just realized this is still on okay so if you're hosting Christmas if you are just attending Christmas you all have the responsibility of something whether it be buying presents or cooking something or whatever, entertaining family members that come by. So plan, we have the whole year to plan and I'm not saying as soon as Christmas is over that we should start planning for the next one. We can decide, start thinking about what presents we're gonna get people before we go out to the shops and get it. I mean, in my opinion, I always want to receive gifts that are meaningful or that are gonna be beneficial to me. So maybe you might wanna apply that thinking to others when you don't know what to get them. Plan your decor, plan who 
who's coming to what, plan what food you're gonna, you know, make. And if it's just your family, then fine. Plan your time off work. I know that in the office it can get really busy. Luckily for me, I don't have this problem. I can take the time off when I need to. But I know that for some people who may work in a hospital, for example, it's very difficult to get time off. You want to have some days leading up to Christmas and also some days afterwards so you can prepare and get everything organised because it is going to be a bit manic and then afterwards you can rest and look forward to the new year. The perfect Christmas is a myth, okay? Leave that to the movies and the TV shows. And do you know what? The TV shows and the movies are never even perfect anyway. Where do we even get that idea from? Not everyone's gonna cooperate with you. Someone might get really drunk, someone might overeat, someone might feel ill, someone will be ungrateful for their presence. The food might get burnt or the timing might be off and everyone has to wait around for their dessert. But who cares? I have been in the professional environment for a solid two years now. So I've now had two Christmas do's, Christmas parties, Christmas lunches. And there's so many things that I've learned and seen and observed from these things, being a newcomer. You don't wanna be the person, right, that is talked about afterwards. In my workplace, every time there's like a really boozy night out, I'm never ever there. Something that I'm gonna try and incorporate a little bit more in my life, but I don't really feel like I'm missing out because the next day when everyone comes in they're hanging at their desks or there's pictures going around in emails and everyone's laughing at them because people have made a fool of themselves so all I'm saying they tend to sort of mark the beginning of the festivities right don't blow yourself out now because there's going to be so much more to come in the rest of the month the next thing i'm going to say i guess only really applies to those that are hosting you guys that are like mature and adulting in life i'm not there yet i'm not hosting christmas yet but for you guys that are maybe to help yourself survive through christmas spread the responsibility and the task so that you're not bogged down doing everything yourself i know that it can be hard because you want it to be perfect but remember i said there's no such thing as a perfect Christmas if things go wrong let other people also take the responsibility why leave one job to go to another job Christmas is about relaxing and festivities and having fun so enjoy it personally I believe that spreading love during Christmas that's the most important thing to me above presents above food above just anything during this time there are loads and loads of charities around that will be you know donating to people that will be going out on the streets and helping people cooking christmas lunches and meals for people so that they can also experience christmas too and it's about giving and thinking about people who may not be in your position who are less fortunate and it's just about being grateful for where you are in life if you have nothing to do for christmas and you're not really into sitting around with family then i would suggest doing something like that because at least you're giving back and you're helping other people and you're sort of just sharing that Christmas spirit and love that we all need from time to time, whether we are Grinches or not. I'm gonna speak to myself when I say this, right? And it is to have everything, but in moderation. <laughs> Every single year I overdo it. I mean, I overdo it on a daily basis when it comes to food. I don't know what it is about me and food, but we go hand in hand, like we just love each other, right? Especially Christmas. I started this video talking about my grandparents' food. <laughs> there is a problem eat everything enjoy i just i don't believe in sort of saying i'm only going to eat amazing things on these days and then i'm going back to my diet the day after christmas like why eat everything but just eat in moderation right at the end of the day christmas is all about love fun family and all of that and it would be a shame to have heaps of food left over from the party and from the celebrations because it's a waste so just think about that you don't have to overindulge in things and buy the most expensive presents because i'm sure those people will be grateful for anything that you give them and if they're not then do they even deserve a present I don't think so. Don't get yourself into debt. Like I hear so much about people that have the, they have the December debt, like the Christmas debt. It's like a thing, it's a real thing. I've always just believed in living in your means, especially for Christmas. It's not a show, it's not an ordeal. It's not about going above and beyond to prove a point or to do something that doesn't come naturally. And just think of next year, you can do more. I'm not expecting any presents because I'm older now and I'm like so not bothered about Christmas presents. No, honestly, Honestly, I do think that the whole present thing is for the parents and for the children in the family and for your significant other. A candle. If anyone wants to get me a present, 
I would really appreciate some candles. Look at this candle, guys. Isn't this cute? I think you may have seen it in my video if you watched the vlog. But yeah, I think this video is over now. I just wanted to share a few ideas on just how to keep in control of Christmas, have no expectations, enjoy the day and the festivities around it, take pride in being with your family. When we have our own families and everyone starts separating as we get older and everyone starts hosting their own Christmases, so just appreciate the now and take loads and loads and loads of pictures. We go back to work in a matter of weeks. You guys will definitely see me before Christmas day, but for now, I hope you enjoy the festivities. Take care of yourselves and just spread the love this Christmas. Bye.